Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install the back plane, um, which is this board here, in the Dell R720XD. And so, uh, I purchased this kit on eBay, I paid about $80 for it. It comes with four connection cables, uh, and also the actual board uh, that allows for these two drives to connect in the back of the R720XD. So, we'll just open this up here. And I'll show you right where this goes. Uh, so the back plane, you can see, I have these two bays available. Let's see if we can pivot this around. So this is what, what the bays look like. And I actually already have the hard drive caddies in. But I'll just pull these out and I have the hard drives installed as well. And so this is what it was like. There were just spacers in here when I first got, uh, got the uh, server. And so this back plane will mount right here. And so these um, different bays are going to be for going in there. And the way it mounts is actually uh, this orientation right here, just like this. And so we'll just press this down, and that should secure everything in place. Just like that. So that's, that's snapped into place now. There's a piece of the frame there sticking up, and then it's lined up with these three parts of the bays. And it's in there pretty solid. I I, there's a hole here, and I thought there might be a place to put a screw, but that's actually not the case. Um, it's just sitting in there and snapped into place, so there's no screws involved uh, in putting this in. Now we need to connect the cables to where they need to go, and so the cables, we'll see, will line up. There's these different ports here, and so there's like an 8-pin uh, connector and an 8-pin connector here. So we will use this uh, piece here. And so the eight pins, we're just going to do uh, the eight pin here. And you'll notice there's a part where it has a little uh, part for this clip to hook onto. And also, the actual connector is shaped. These pins are shaped. So it will only go in one direction. So we'll snap that into place. And then we'll take this one and snap it into place. I'm not sure. This might be power. I, I believe this is a, a power cable. And it goes in just like that. And then it clicks into place. Just make sure that that's snug on both ends. The next cable that I'll install is going to be this. Uh, one that has white ends. My particular one does. So the, the one that we connect is going to be right here in the board. Perfect. So that's in there. And then the place that that's going to go to... Let's see here. I might have to remove this just so I can see what's going on here. Oh, it took me a second to find where this goes. There's actually a cover over over top of this. And we just need to pull this off here. And that'll be it. It says uh, L bay on it. So we pull that off. And then that is where this cable will go into. See that? I'm holding the camera and trying to do this at the same time. But I think I'll get it to work. Okay, I actually had to turn the camera off to get that one snapped into place. But that is connected now. The next cable I'll put in is this one. I think it's uh, 10 maybe 10 pins on there and the place that that's going to go uh, is right here on the new backplane board so we'll put that there and this one again so there's a little notch at the top of the connector which matches um, the notch here so we'll just plug this in all right and then this also judging by the length of it I know it's not going to be too far so I need to find where this is going to plug into this is tricky with one hand all right, so that snapped in there. And like I said, I'm just going to try and route this cable as best I can down here with the rest of these. And I'll do it better when I have two hands available, I think. Oh, and that last one, we never did get that last one connected. This one here. Okay, so this connector here that says BP on it needs to go on the back plane. And since I'm using three and a half inch drives, three and a half inch drive bays and not two and a half inch. It goes in like a kind of a hard spot. And this is the first time I've installed this, uh, this back plane. So I, it took me a while to find it, but it's actually right down here. It was being hidden by a couple of these. So it's that connector. Do you see that right down in there? Let's see if I can zoom in on it. There it is. That's right where it needs to go. So that's where we got to put this guy. 
So there's two uh, two cables basically. This we have the SAS cable and this backplane connector. So the SAS cable is is connecting here, and then so is this backplane. And the other two are just co connecting right in the back here. So four cables total. I'll hook up this last one, and again we had to pull out the fans in order to get those two connected. Okay, so I get I did get this uh, backplane connector connected, and now I just need to make sure I get these wires out of the way. Because these fans, see like this one's being covered up right now. There's the power for the fans is these four pins right here. All these. So just make sure as you put the fans back in that you don't obstruct any of those or make sure that these cables, the new cables we put in are out of the way. Alright guys, well that's it. Appreciate you watching. Again, that's the Dell R720 XD with 3.5 inch bays. If it's not the XD and if it's not 2.5 inch bays, the backplane kit you get and the cables uh, are going to be a little bit different. In fact, I don't think the, if it's not the XD, I don't think the backplane kit is even an option. But uh, just so make sure you get the right parts, do some research before you pull the trigger on this. But I appreciate you watching. Go ahead and leave your comments, questions below, and we'll catch you on the next video.